Hello. Well, uh, another short video, I'm afraid. Um, I've basically been uh, treading water, waiting for three phase to come. It's um, March the 10th now. It's due to come on the 16th. I'll probably make a separate video about that. Um, meanwhile, I've been working on two or three minor problems which are covered in this video. Well, this is a mad, mad world. Because this sodding thing doesn't have quite enough thread to get through here and fix the nut on. I fix the, the, all the other things that need to go on here like this. I've made this kind of reverse boring bar which I'm driving with an electric drill. Luckily this is only plastic. And uh, thereby countersinking this side of the thing which I obviously can't get to with any conventional tool. What I was doing and I don't know whether it's going to, it's been quite successful so far, but whether it's going to succeed now I don't know. not doing it exactly evenly. It is doing it. I think that's not bad. That's my little HSS reverse boring tool. I think that is not not at all bad for a completely botched job. Right, so that's okay. This was the only replacement emergency stop which looked anything like the one that was there before that I could find. So I've encountered a slight problem. If you listen carefully to this. As we approach the head stop. You can hear that uh, clattering. This is actually caused by the top of the lead screw rubbing on the casting here. It only does it up this end. If I take the lead screw out, the problem goes away. If we spool back to August 2021, when I first took the apron apart, I actually noticed this problem, but I didn't fully appreciate its significance at that time. Part of the reason for this could be that the ways on the saddle are slightly worn so that uh, the saddle is riding lower down on the bed than uh, it should be, thus lowering the apron somewhat. But uh, since it only happens near the headstock, it cannot be that by itself. But if we combine that with the measurements I made on the bedways last December which showed that as you approach the headstock uh, as shown by the blue line here the bedway goes down the front, front V-way goes down by about 0.3 millimeters. Those two things taken together are sufficient to cause this problem. 
the wrong way to fix this problem would be to file the casting in order to provide some clearance. Uh, that would not really solve the problem because it means that uh, at the moment as the apron gets closer and closer to the headstock there is an increasing misalignment between the lead screw and uh, the feed gearbox which ought not to be uh, tolerated. The correct way to deal with the problem that the saddle is riding lower than it should be would be to grind the ways uh, on the saddle thus making it ride even lower and then to put some turkite uh, on the ways in order to raise it back to the correct level and then scrape it in. I could probably do that myself but it doesn't seem worth doing because uh, the major cause of the lowering of the apron is actually wear on the bedways and that can only be fixed by having the bed reground. So if I decided to do that I might as well get the uh, regrinders to solve the saddle problem at the same time. But I haven't made such a decision yet. Well, I think one of the problems is this extremely narrow piece here and you can see that there are bits that have been eaten away by corrosion close to these screw holes ideally I'd like to skim this down by about half a millimeter perhaps even more because it's, it's quite deep this, this, these defects that's what I'd like to do but it's, it's hard to see how I can actually do this on my mini machine one of the problems is that the uh, top surface here which is the bottom surface in real life um, this one is uh, angled with respect to the other surface so it would be difficult to mount that on the mill in a stable way. Well, that's a new joint washer which I've partially coated and I've coated both surfaces here and I'm waiting for it to become tacky this time. The interesting thing about the old joint washer is that not... ignore that side because I've torn it in taking it off but um, there wasn't much material left, m much uh, heldite left between the, uh, the lid, the metal surfaces and the joint washer M mainly seemed to have squeezed out. Well, I've done it up only finger tight because although it's tacky it's still highly flexible and I think if I do it up any tighter it's just going to squeeze it all out. I'd rather leave it for a few hours like this and hope that it sets a bit but not completely because this is not a non-setting jointing compound, it is a setting one. It's just a matter of getting it at the right time I feel. And I've decided to leave it the right way up this time so if the heldite drains anywhere it's going to drain downwards onto the bottom plate rather than draining away from it.